that this was something Luna had to handle on her own. And while, yes, I would have loved to see Celestia come in and be the big sister and comfort her, let's be real, this is some... Depre the, considering the theme, you know, the episode's theme of depression and such, one thing that I personally learned, you know, speaking as someone with depression, depression sometimes has to be has to be handled through oneself. Sure, you can have all the help from other people and friends, but at the end of the day, you have to slowly push yourself to to get away from those negative thoughts. The things keeping you from getting the help you need. I still can't I just still can't believe that so many people made a big deal about it. Especially someone who had to talk about that episode so many times and remind everybody, hey, did you know I hated this episode? Water is wet, grass is green. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, it's one thing that there's like... There are times I had to hold my tongue from going on a tirade about Newbie Dash. Like I just did, like, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Like, I got into one vicious argument with somebody uh, in the comments section that... Oh, if the Wonderbolts told her immediately about the tradition, it would defeat the purpose. What purpose? Mm -hmm. Like, Dash was supposed to figure it out herself? Nobody's going to figure it out themselves if they're going to be called names. That's just yeah, basic no. human instinct. Yeah, and I also don't like the idea of just them putting them through hazing, considering hazing doesn't make things good for people. It Everybody's different from each other. And the argument was, yeah. oh, so you become the exception of the rule from everybody else who had to learn the same way? Everybody's experiences are different from each other. Yeah. Is Everybody not... is wired differently. Yeah, yeah. and that's just... Yeah, no, they should have just told us straight up. Like, they didn't even explain why it's a tradition. Like, oh, we were just trying to toughen you up or something like that. It's like, you could have just told her that. Like, they could have been they could, they could have just told her that. And hell, if they just told her that in the very beginning of the episode, I don't think many people would have had a problem with it. Yes, it still would have made the Wonderbolts look like assholes. But there but would it be a been... much better reason behind it, not just being so irresponsibly oblivious and complacently oblivious behind it. Yeah. The whole argument of, oh, it would have defeated the purpose and Dash was supposed to figure it out, did not really do much, um, that doesn't really do much of an argument because, guess what? She inadvertently sabotaged the fucking performance because her ego was being bruised all over the fact that they didn't just tell her immediately. Yeah, they could have just funny? told her straight forward, hey, this is a, a little thing we do together, How's you know. Going? Uh, it's going good. Just looking for... Oikey. Very empty bottles. Bottle. How's the chat doing? Good. Hi, chat. Uh, Hello. It's me. That's going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we were just having, like, discussions about some, uh, like, episodes that people lost their shit over and everything. One of the horse show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Horse. Gen 4 horse show or Gen 5 horse show? Gen 4. Okay. Like, um, people lost their shit over magic sheep. Didn't they also lose their shit over the episode with Celestia? Oh, did you get yourself food? Yeah, a long time ago. Well, I asked if you wanted anything for dinner. You said you said you would tell me. Yeah, it just like surprised me, like a nosh or something. Oh, oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna get a nosh anyway. I was gonna order some food from 7-Eleven. Yeah. Because today marks the day that Chrissy's allowed to have energy drinks again. Oh my god. Yay! Still have an ulcer, but the doctor said that I can at least have them again. Yay. Yeah, just don't have too many, he says yeah. while drinking four Cokes a day. <laughs> Only four? Know, Child's play. I try and limit it a bit sometimes. Excuse me. No, you gotta one up yourself every time. Hey guys, it's no, I... Brett's go find me. He'll burp the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> would you guys actually want me to hear that? <laughs> I would. I would need a lot of soda. I mean, I can order you one. All right, do you so. Need two gallon. Get a two gallon <laughs> bottle of Coke or something. Yeah, only if people donate. Chat, would you want me to hear that? I think that's beyond a ten want... out of ten for some of you. What would be funny for Golden to do for a decent amount of money? <laughs> I <Sauce>. mean, <laughs> Magical Star says yes in oh. caps lock. So, hey guys, I told you what I'm planning on doing next month, right? Uh, Wait, where? Yeah. 
Oh my god, Ryza, stop trying to seduce Squidward. That's fair no. enough. No. I was going to throw Riley to seduce Squidward. I'm trying to... No! no. Oh, Ryza. SpongeBob. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to find all the bottles. Ryza, Even you know for a fact... Okay. Ryza, you know for a fact that Kitty already did that picture of you going on a date with Squidward. It's so funny. It's so funny. I don't know why. Do I. It never happens to me, so I don't know why it happens to you. I don't know. That's a good question. Life likes to be complicated for me. Apparently. Um. Golden. Yes. Did we reach the goal for Death of the Phoenix? Oh, are you talking about? Oh, the, uh, the yeah. Mer yes, we did. We still have, um, I still have that on my chopping block. That would be funny. Take all of our yeah. spices and marinate a piece of chicken, and then I would eat that. I mean, I'll still do that. Yeah. No, that's that goal has been met. Yeah. I just need Hey, to that's yes. his dinner. Win win. <laughs> God damn it. I would have to get the DSLR ready because I will tell you this much: when I was trying to uh, like export the videos from my phone, it came out of this weird format. That no matter what, like the video would pop up, but it's just a blank screen. Like, what the hell? Oh, hey, Golden. Yes. Does your um, does your DSLR or SLR have a a mini HDMI port? Mm, not that I know of. Ah, uh, because there's this Elgato uh, device that you can get that allows you to use your camera as a webcam. Oh, there's some that you can use that are just a USB. Hmm, true. For some apparent reason, I kind of want to see Golden Gem out to a Led Zeppelin song. Oh. Well, I kind of taught myself a little bit on how to play Stairway to Heaven. Uh, <laughs> I, of, of course, it wouldn't be Stairway to Heaven. So many people cover that song. Oh. <laughs> Not ooh. saying it's a bad thing, but it's just like Golden. the one song everyone yes, goes right, to. Though? You should do the Sprite Challenge. The what challenge? The, the what? Sprite challenge. What's the Sprite challenge? You gotta drink an entire, like, 20-ounce bottle of Sprite in one, like, sitting. Ouch! No. You're That's asking someone. him to go dead. No, 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 no. no. A 20-ounce bottle? I just did, I did that recently. All it does make you burp really loud. <laughs> I drink sure? too much soda as it is, honestly. I know I need well, to cut back, but I can't. Well, like, a Sprite is, like... It's not. It's not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> I mean, just... I wouldn't recommend it to you if I if it would kill you. Bombs and a shield. Okay. I mean, the other thing I was recommending for you to cover, Golden, is a good times, bad times. Good times, bad times. Oh, bad you times. Know I've had my share. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, you know what we need to play again? What? Cards Against Humanity. Yes! God, I still remember playing Cards Against... The one thing I always remember the most, and it's been bolted into my brain that I made a top five dedicated to those type of moments. Help! My son is a snapping turtle biting the tip of her penis! Ah! Oh yeah, I remember that! And you burst it out screaming! Was... Yeah, I was. And the chat was flipping. I mean... It's not surprising. <laughs> I might keep going over here. But I know, the Sprite Challenge, like, the worst that would happen... Uh, what soda pop do you want if you get... It would, like, you make your eyes a little watery. Because as, I guess how much, um, like... How much you're in, in, ingesting. Okay. <laughs> Maybe next time, guys, I'll get a Sprite to try to do the quote-unquote Sprite Challenge. Yeah! Apparently the Sprite Challenge is when you take a tea liter and you just have to guzzle down an entire bottle. No, 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 not a tea liter, a 20 ounce bottle. I, hold on, hold 20 on, a 20 ounce bottle. I was about to say, the 2 liter bottle is what ended up me throwing up all around my aunt's house when I tried drinking a 2 ounce bottle of Coke. Yeah, and no, then we're again, not... And then again with a 2 liter <laughs> bottle of 7 Up. I, look, I, I don't want to do third time's a charm. Yeah, no, we're not so, doing no, that. Okay, I've seen the Sprite Challenge and I've seen Not a 2 ounce two liter. Do I don't know no, if you no, can do no, a 2 no. liter in one shot. <laughs> Yeah. You know what he needs to do? He needs to get. He needs a two-liter bottle of Coke. Yeah, no, and he I just, needs a I bunch need, of I, mints. Yeah, no, I. Okay, that's fucking deadly. 
<laughs> no, I rem- no, it has been an experiment to take two liter bottles of Coke, stick some Mentos in that shit, and let it go off as soon as you, like, hit yeah, the no. bottle and it shoots off like a fucking rocket. <laughs> Put your mouth that. Those videos are funny. I, they are. They're they're cool, if anything. Like, you it is it in cool, there, but... And then you watch it down and watch it shoot off like a rocket. It's just... Yeah. Also, a really cool one, or I guess a tasty one, would be getting a slice of pizza from every pizza place. That'd be satisfying. But, but, but why, though? Because it's delicious. I mean, I love pizza, but, but, but why, though? It's delicious. <laughs> I mean, fair up. Okay, Jeff, you say you like, you like pizza. I love pizza. I mean, mate, I love pizza, but I have to live it myself sometimes because I eat too much of it. No, Def, I love pizza. Okay, good for you. <laughs> good for you! <laughs> I eat too much oh, pizza. What was I also going to... Also, what was I going to round? I mean, Golden can also do the one chip challenge. Oh, no. What's the no. one chip challenge? Okay, so the one chip challenge, and this is something that I actually saw because someone fucking did it at work. Basically, you get the one chip, which is apparently in a little box. It has one chip, as the name says. However, when you eat it, it's incre- it becomes incredibly hot and incredibly spicy. I think it ha- I think the level it goes up is like literally to like three million scoville units. Jesus Let me check. Christ, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? And you, you literally have to resist the urge of drinking water for like I think ten minutes. Doesn't it have like uh ghost pepper or something in it? Yes, Hang I on. think so. I saw John Stick Pony doing a live stream and it and uh oh boy. I oh wonder boy, if I would what? ask him about the one chip challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Let He'll be like, see. no, don't do it. I don't like. Do I have him on Discord? Still- yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says right here. It's a. It has a supercharged California Reaper and a stinging scorpion pepper with a twist. Huh. So it's incredibly spicy as Wait, shit. Did the- you say California or Carolina Reaper? Let's see, was it Carolina? Carolina Reaper. Yeah, that's the hottest one. I know there's actually hotter ones now, but that's the one that people usually think of when they think of the hottest uh, peppers. Yeah, I mean, you have to basically resist the urge of drinking anything to um, to um, to quell the burning. Let me see what it says for one chip challenge. Okay, so where was this from? It also turns your tongue blue, according to this thing. Where's huh. that at? Oh my god! Wow! They have so many other flavors. I mean, in the pack, in the bag version. Alright, so that's not much of a uh... Zesty Salsa Verde, Jalapeno Tropical, Haunted Ghost Pepper? Oh dear god, dude. It's like, like oh. Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce is already hot as is. <laughs> Knowing Chrissy, though, I'm not surprised that she's able to withstand that shit. <laughs> oh, Kane. When is that coming out? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it says right here. Is that if you're on TikTok and YouTube, um, you have to eat a spicy Paki brand tortilla chip seasoned with some of the spiciest peppers available and wait as long as possible to eat or drink anything. Holy oh. rice, dude. Yeah, apparently a person, I think it's possible for, like, some people to go an hour without drinking anything. I, like, what I've... I mean, I like buffalo wings, but I also like to be able to taste the buffalo sauce and not just have the spiciness overwhelm it. I'd rather li- Yeah, it says right here, um, let's see. Apparently, the recent one they did, like I mentioned before, is the California Reaper and the Scorpion Pepper. Oh, son of a bitch. Which they combined together to uh, one chip. Okay, I saw a coworker do this and... He crossbred he, them. Yeah, he literally was burning his... Like, he literally was perfectly fine for, like, I think, like, two to three to four minutes. But around the fifth to ten minute, he literally could... He literally was at the verge of um, crying. 
And then I think right around 30 minutes, that's when he gave up and they gave him, like, they, they didn't, they gave him, like, a jug, like, one of those, uh, two liter jugs of milk to pretty much quell down the, the uh, the hotness. Uh. And I think even then he was still completely out of it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Golden. Yes? The first two episodes of I Love You, You Hate Me have come out, apparently. Oh, shit. Wait, I thought it was yeah. like a two-part documentary. Uh, yeah, apparently they came out on the 12th. Or yesterday, Well, it so came yesterday. out yesterday, yeah, I kind of lost track of that. Wait, what is this? I Love You, You Hate Me, it's the Barney documentary. <gasps> oh, yeah. the Barney documentary. I remember right. when I heard about that, I was like, oh, damn, they're getting, their, they're scooping their side of the story on the whole Barney controversy. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I get, as I said before, and I'll say it again, I never understood the hatred. Like, that I just, up. I just couldn't stand Barney because he was just—he sounded obnoxious, and the whole, like, the whole concept the show was going for was just so horribly saccharine and pampering to the children. Like, it was so what? disrespectful compared to like Sesame Street, Arthur, and a bunch of other preschool-based um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yeah, no, there was—they had much more Hello, respect children. to them, but. Barney just did not sit well with me. Not to mention, when you look at the eyes in that Barney design, he looks so lifeless. It's terrifying. Yeah. But at the same time, like, the hatred people had for it was so damn over the top, it wasn't even funny. I I said this on Twitter, but I still remember being at my uncle's house or my cousin's place and one of my cousins was playing a mod version of either doom or wolfenstein on their computer where it was barney and friends that he was shooting at and this was like in 98 i oh, mean god if it's just a game or something that's that's one thing because some people just can't stand the character but the thing that made me go over the top is when i heard that the actor who was voicing barney was almost shot by like, some you can... Yeah, he got death threats apparently. Like Jesus. Dear God. Like it's like, not, I like, guess not like I I this just feels like the pinky pie um uh, the Philly Vanilli incident all over again. Just it's not worth it to, to go sending death threats over something about media. Like it just it, makes you like crazy. People... And even then, let's say for the sake of argument, somebody does successfully go to, you know, just try to assassinate, you know, the actor. You know what's gonna happen? They're going to find another actor to replace. Yeah. So you're not doing anybody any favors, dude. But, you know, it's so bizarre. And again, I understand the, you know, I can understand why some people didn't like it. But at the end of the day, it was just a stupid, it was just a preschool show. You didn't have to, you could have just oh, literally ignored it and developed from it. 